Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Chicklet. And Chicklet is a Pomeranian poodle who is coming for her full grooming and she is very matted um, as you can see. So she's really thick in the legs and it's right down um, to the skin. So we are going to have uh, to do a little bit shorter of a cut on her. So I just want to show you that. So I'm actually going to be starting um, just on her face and stuff, but I'm actually going to be doing the clipping before the bath um, because I really want to get a little bit of this um, coat thinned out before I bath her so that I can ensure I give her a nice clean, clean look. Okay, and get her body nice and clean and get right under to that skin so that um, just in case there's any um, irritation or anything, I can really get it nice and clean. So. Hopefully you enjoy this video and if you do please uh, subscribe and check out my channel where I have many other videos of me grooming dogs in a variety of um, different stages of uh, whatever matting or just uh, different dog breeds as well so you can check that out and I do also put anything unique that I find on a video as well that comes through my um, home based dog grooming business. So hope you enjoy this. We're just going to go slow because in the eyes there's a lot of tearing. So you really want to get under that. Yeah, good girl. And Chicklet's been coming to me for quite a while now. So she's used to the process. We'll get her all cleaned up here today. So I'm going to try to keep her as long as I can, but obviously those mats are going to kind of determine how long I can keep her. We'll keep her nice and close on the face. So as it grows in, um, it'll keep her vision good. And you can see that the owners were trimming around her face as well so that she could see very good. So that is nice, but she does have quite a bit of tearing. So I'm just going to trim it up even a little bit shorter than that. not going to worry too much around the outer because I'm going to shave all that off. I'm just going to work at the muzzle here and just around the eyes. And then the rest I'm going to get with the clippers. All right, so I'm going to try a number seven clipper. We'll see how that goes and if not I'll have to go down to number 10 and I do have a skip tooth so that'll hopefully help me get underneath those mats but again we will just wait and see how it goes I'll try to get you the best view but sometimes I forget as the dog moves and then I kind of and distracted obviously by grooming. Now it is a little tight so I am just going to go straight to a number 10 and even with a number 10 sometimes we'll be able to salvage a little bit after but I really got to get underneath those mats right now. And once we can kind of break some of them apart be able to get started. Usually around the neck is the most uh, matted. Once we get through that then we can kind of go a little easier as you can see as well. So she's going to be very closely cut but she'll just have to wear her sweater. Okay. But she'll
she'll feel a lot better and won't be as itchy. And a lot lighter too. Okay. Sometimes when you uh, cut under all the mats of a very matted dog here, sometimes they'll be have rash or really flaky skin. That just uh, is because the skin hasn't been able to breathe properly. So once you get that all off and give it time, it should come back again. And she is a uh, naturally have some pink skin just because of her coloring of her fur and her mix of a uh, poodle and a uh, pomeranian they both have usually pink skin underneath all that fur so it doesn't necessarily mean that her fur is actually irritated This will definitely help it out so it can breathe a lot better. Okay. I'm just going to raise her up a little bit. Okay, and I'm not trying to get it perfect right now. Oops, just changing the blades. I'm just going to cut this off because it is bugging her. There you go. There, so you can see that one there. I'll put that there. Oh, and I'll keep going. Okay. I always got to check the blades to make sure they don't get too warm because they can burn the skin if you don't if you do let them get too hot. starting to get warm so I'm going to switch it out okay. 
for a cooler one. I like to have quite a few on hand, just so I can switch them out like that. And, and of course, if uh, it goes dull on me and uh, when I'm grooming, because of course that's the only time it's going to go dull is when you're using it. And of course when you do groom a dog before the bath like this, um, the fur is a little bit dirtier so it will dull them a little quicker, but um, this way I'm able to get a way nicer clean body just because the matting was so close to the skin. We'll just get all that bulk off and then I'll come back and clean it up again after the bath. Just checking for a dew claw. Oh yeah, and there's one in there. You just got to be a little careful, especially with the clippers around them, so you don't dig in. You may have to come with the scissors to get in there. a little bit okay and since she's standing so nice this way I'm going to just give her a break from the clippers and I'm going to do her nails and in between the pads of the feet here which are very thick with fur They're matted here. nails aren't too long underneath all that fur actually quite healthy okay I'm just gonna do the front one now
I'm almost done this one. The feet and the face are always the most uh, time consuming and difficult to do on a dog. They can twist and turn quite a bit more. And then it's hard to get in those little crevices sometimes. So once you get uh, your technique down with those, the rest is actually not too bad. Trimming the body and such. But the feet and the face and the nails are the hardest. And around the bum area as well, but the feet and the face are the hardest to do. These ones are quite a bit longer, as you can see there. But again, the, the quick hasn't grown too much, so I'm able to get them back to a nice healthy length. Okay. But the, her feet might be a little bit sore just because of that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to trim her again. It's okay. I guess you want to see her. Okay, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Here, let's cut that off. Alright, so there's another chunk there. Oh, get a few chunks going. Oh, well. Alright, so now I'm going to start with the clippers again, making sure they're still cool. And this is where, again, it's the usually the thickest because it's around the collar area. Let's go a little bit slower, especially around the back of the ear as well. There we go. Now let's go beside her face here. You'll feel a whole lot lighter after this. Okay, good girl. Right. Okay, there we go. Just trying to get this big chunk off there. Yeah. There's another big chunk. I am just going to switch out the blade. Because of the mats, they will get a little warmer a little quicker. So you really got to be careful to make sure they don't get too hot on you. Switch the number 10 again. Make a new one. Make sure I have enough that stay cool. Okay, come on. Those front legs a little. 
more resistant. There you go. Okay. Try to get under that big one there. Now you gotta watch out for that dew claw. There we go. And she's a little bit older of a dog, so. And also be careful of that loose skin. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, the blades are still cool. Let's go this up here. Yeah, thank you. Yes, the road that way. Unless it's getting quite wrong. Oh, there we go. There's another one. I think that's the fourth one. That'll be the last big one. Just a little bit left on the foot here. Okay, and in the springtime, after our nice long winters here, I do see quite a, quite a few dogs that are about in this state where they're quite matted. Just because the owners like to try to keep them a little bit warmer, because the weather does get quite cold here in Alberta. Oh, okay, I know. I'm a little older, so sometimes you gotta be careful. Sometimes it hurts to move a certain way. Yeah, good girl. Or bend your leg a certain way. <laughs> what are you doing? There you go. Alright, I'm gonna do a bum area, but I wanna get a Make sure the blade's really nice and cool for that sensitive area. Mm. 
So as you watch my videos, if you are watching them in order, you'll see that there'll be a lot of dogs that are getting lots of long haircuts. And then lots of dogs that'll all of a sudden get all short haircuts. Because basically it's just going with the season. So then in the spring there'll be lots of shave downs and matted dogs. So basically just depends on the season. Some dogs uh, do come through the, through all winter and everything and keep their nice short cuts because they're mainly indoor dogs. So they're used to the shorter lengths. So it just all varies. But you do see more of a trend of the, the seasons with the weather. Here, we'll, we'll have to take out the mats there, but I'm just going to try to keep them a little bit longer if I can. We'll see how those mats come out. There we go. There's still a little bit of mats on the top of the head here, but I'll come back after once I've done the bath and uh, do a better clean up. This is just kind of like I said to get all the bulk off and get those mats out. The majority of them. When I'm matting in the ears is this thick there's no point in using thinning shears because you just end up going right down like this anyways because you'd have to thin them out so much. And there's always a good chance when it's matted this much that you might catch the skin. So it's just better to uh, take it down nice and short and then start over. And uh, the next time you can start shaping it how you'd like as it grows out. All right, just plucking that hair out of there. There's too much in there. Here, this ear is about the same as the other one. A little bit of dried wax in there, but that'll all come out here. That's good. All right, good girl. Okay, so now I'll finish up the feet and the nails on this side. Okay. It's okay. There's a dew claw on this side that's curled right around, so I'm going to have to use my special tin snips to get those. Okay, come on. I know it's a little thick. Sort of see the nail there, how it's curled all the way around and touching the pad. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to try. 
try with the clippers to get in there. Yeah. But she did not like it. That's why I prefer not to use those. You gotta dig quite a bit to get the mats out. So I will not use them. I know, so the feet are a bit sore. So it just takes a little bit longer to get through this. It's okay. So the feet are a bit sore already. And with the mats in there, it kind of spreads the pads apart, which of course is why her feet are sore. Okay. And of course me digging in there doesn't make it feel any better. But once I get it all out of there, then it feels better. Okay, good girl. Getting closer. Okay. These feet are a little bit, the nails are a little bit longer, so. I think your feet are a little bit sore on these, on the front ones here. Hey. It's okay. All right, so I'm going to do the nails and I'll have to get my uh, tin snips to get that one that's curled all the way around. It's okay, I know. This will help her feet feel a lot better. And sorry, you probably missed that whole show. Okay, so do the nail there. It's curled all the way around. So I do use uh, just my tin snips. Just because it gives me a nice straight cut across. There you go, I know. There. Good girl, I know. My foot would be sore. Okay, so we just got the one back foot to do here, which is still quite full. And then the tail and the ears. And then we'll be all done. And then we'll get her into the bath. Just gonna lift the table up.
Okay. No. Sorry. Hard keeping track of both. And she likes to move a little bit, but not too bad. She's really good. Just a little bit sore, that's all. It's okay. I get focused on something and then I forget to check the camera and she kind of is pulling. Hey, there you are. I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. Okay. Now we'll just cut these nails. Then we'll get to the tail. Tail and ears. And then bath time. There, good girl. I know. Okay, let's do your tail. So the tail here is also quite matted. I'm going to try to do a number seven on it. Actually, I'll try a number five first. Try number five. And if that doesn't work, I'll try a number seven. So I'm going to try to keep some length on it. Um, but because it is matted, I'm not going to thin all that out because it'll just leave nothing left anyways. I'm trying to get the bulk of the mats out. Okay, so the five will not work. Do the number seven. There we go. That's a little better. And the end of her tail is actually right there. A lot of extra. There you go. There, so that takes all that off. Okay, so I'm just going to comb out her head and ears a little bit if I can. smaller comb. That's a little closer together just for this part. Just to kind of get out the bulk of it. Because I already layered it and stuff it won't have too much in there. But you can see there's still a little bit of fur left which is nice. You see I twisted the phone, but still getting a nice angle, so I'll just leave that for now, fix it up in a little bit. Okay. See there's a big spot there. But we'll get that to that after the bath where I will even out everything. as best I can. There's still going to be some areas where it may not be perfect, but we do want her to be comfortable and get those mats out. A little bit around the face yet, I'll get. Sorry. Just get a rose there. Oh, 
They always be careful because they always like to lick it back in there. There you go. Have some hair poking in her eye. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to head off to the bath. Get her all cleaned up. Oh, come here. camera a little bit. There we go. Okay, ready for your bath? Get a good massage there. Ah, it feels good. <laughs> you can tell she's really enjoying this. Okay. Yeah, you like that? You're a good girl. Water out of the drain so it gets the drains properly. Hair out of there. It's okay. All right. Okay, so we're all ready for the tub. We're going to get her out of the tub. There you go. It's okay. All right, we're going to go back to the table so we can give her a blow dry. And then just give her a finished look with the clippers.
Okay, good girl. All right, so we're just going to get her ready for the bath. Some earmuffs on. We're going to just get ready for the blow dry. Clean her up again with the clippers. I'm going to try just to use a number seven. So it'll still take off a little bit. Then I don't have to go right close to the skin. I do want to try to keep as much as I can. So just any fur that's kind of sticking out, I'm just going to kind of blend it together. Because like I said, because she already has the pink skin, I really don't want to go too short, and the pen would take her quite short. So then this way I'm still able to keep some length. It won't be all completely even, but um, it'll leave her at least a lot more fur. As much as I can. <laughs> That's pretty flexible there. See some areas are a little closer, but that's where the matting was a little bit thicker. So, all right, so this way, like I said, I'm able to keep a little bit more fur on her. It's not much, but it still leaves a little bit more. As much as I can. And when it grows in, it'll still look nice and even because she's got a little bit of curl in her fur. I'm just 
just going to trim the ears a little bit closer now. But they still are layered a bit, so they'll leave a little bit of poof in them as well. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to check her tail area. You can see by shaving it with a little bit longer, I'm still having a little bit of fur on there. Not much, but a little bit more. That's the trick of using different blade lengths. So it needs a little bit of fuzz, and it still has a little bit of a tail, a little bit of poof. All right, so there she is. So she's all done there. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to groom a dog that has a lot of mats and is heavily matted, and uh, that you can still get her nice and clean. Um, you have to go short, of course, but you can still have a nice clean look. Um, even with all those mats. So hopefully this video was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching it. And you know, check out my channel and hopefully you'll subscribe and keep watching. And uh, thanks and hope you have a good day. We'll see you again.